Hey guys, this is Jonathan Montgomery. And I don't know if you've experienced this before, but if you ever have some contractor, especially the solar panel installers, you know, they come to your house and they tell you about the benefits of having solar panels and all that good stuff. And I think we can appreciate that. We know that over the years, the solar panels have grown in popularity. More people are getting them installed on their roofs. You know, we have government benefits that really incentivize people to get the solar panels installed. But that solar panel salesman will make a claim, which I have debated with them for a long time. What is that claim? That they will add value to your home. Well, do they really actually add value to your home? Let's talk about that today. But first, what I'd like you to do is make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, so that way you can know when I get a new video out here and uh, you know you can keep up with me. Because you know, as an appraiser, I see real estate from a different perspective, kind of like opening a treasure chest every time when I'm out here in the market and I see so many different things and scenarios and stories. So I always like sharing them with you and you know, I just wanna kinda of continue to serve you in this way. But let's talk about solar panels. There were national studies that were done years ago and they stated that solar panels could increase the value of your home by as much as 20%. And so, of course, then the salesman would come in and they would say, oh, yeah, well, you know, it could increase the value of your home by as much as 20 percent. And I would contend that that's not accurate. Back in the day, in fact, I used to say that most of the time when you had somebody that was installing solar panels on their home, they probably had a nicer home anyway. So, of course, when you're comparing houses with solar panels to those without them, the value was probably going to be a little bit higher. But now things have changed. More recent studies have suggested that solar panels will increase the value of a home by as much as 4%. That's actually not bad and it seems to be stable, but let me just tell you, it still really varies from market to market. Now, I don't know if you can see this house behind me right here. It has solar panels installed on top, nice array of panels, and they actually look like they're a little bit newer. Well, I was just looking at that, the value of that home. That house just sold recently, but what was amazing was that it sold for about the same price as all the other other houses in this community in the last 12 months. So you don't really see a market difference in that house having solar panels. Now, when I come across a home that has solar panels, I have to take a few things into consideration when I'm determining the value. Now, Freddie Mac and, and Fannie Mae have set guidelines recently that helps, have, they've kind of like set the bar for what we as appraisers do and how we approach valuing solar panels. Let me just kind of share a couple things that we have to take into consideration. First, are those solar panels being leased? If they are being leased, then we don't treat those as real estate, we treat them as personal property. The idea is that that lease would have to transfer over to a new buyer, and that may not be an automatic transfer. The new buyer may not want to actually take on those new lease payments, and if they did, then it can impact the purchase price or their purchasing of power. So that is something that has to be taken into consideration. If it is leased, general guidelines now are that you do not include them in the value of the property. Now, there's another scenario. If you got a loan specifically for the solar panels, and what does that mean? So let's say that, you know, solar panels came in, the installer came in, and the salesman came in, and they said, okay, we're gonna finance this. We have special financing just for solar panels. Well, that financing also attaches specifically to the solar panels, not the entire house. So in general, they are not treated as part of the house, they're treated as personal property. In both scenarios, the idea is that if you don't make those payments, whether they are leased or financed with a specific loan, in theory, they can come back and repossess those solar panels. Now, I have yet to see anybody climb up on a roof to repossess solar panels. I don't ever want to see that either. But that, in theory, could actually happen, and that language is written into those financing documents. Now, the other scenario is maybe that you got a second home loan and it's mortgaged, or maybe you paid cash 
for the solar panels. In that case, there's a little bit more scenario and the appraiser can do a few things here. First, we can actually say, all right, well, you have solar panels and we can see if we can find houses that have recently sold with solar panels and see if there's a market difference in the value with the houses in that neighborhood, in that community with solar panels versus the ones without that. That is quite difficult because often MLS systems don't really report whether there are solar panels or not. It gets really complicated. The other way that we can approach this is taking the cost approach. Now, what that would require is that we determine what is the size of your solar panel system on there. We have to determine how much energy does it output. If it's too much energy for that home, then it's called um, over improvement for that house. And then we can determine whether or not how old that system is. And then we'd also have to determine, you know, um, what is the warranty on that system? Because most of the time, solar panel systems have about a 20 to 25 year warranty. So we would depreciate the value of that. Bottom line is, it's complicated, <laughs> okay? These are some things that we are always taking into consideration when we're dealing with solar panels. But what we have to understand is that they do not automatically add value to a piece of property. They add market appeal. Of course, a new buyer, uh, they might say, yeah, I really like this, and maybe there might be some savings. But if you have an older system, or if the system is smaller or larger, we have to do a lot more research to determine whether or not there is real value. But like I said, that's part of our job. We go out here as appraisers, we have to encounter these different scenarios. And really, it kind of is the same as whether it's a deck or brand new windows or solar panels. The process in the the challenges are pretty similar. But anyway, I hope this helps you. Like I said, this is a pretty complicated issue. It's not as cut and dry. It's not as simple as the solar panel salesman will tell you. But you know, if you like them, get them. If it works for you, go for it, all right? I don't see any downside to really getting solar panels if you can afford it, if it works for you financially. Anyway, talk to you soon on the next video. Goodbye.